what is up hi hello start a new vlog if you do or do not know who i am my name is stacy nice to meet you i came to the post office because i made a sale last night which made me happy i sold something on poshmark for the first time ever because it's been literally years that i've had that thing and i've never sold anything once not until today so that was really cool until yesterday but today i shipped it out anyway so i'm here at the post office and i'm gonna go home all right let's get with this let's get let's get on with this i can never talk oh, yeah. all right i got a package it is a book look how cool this is it's wrapped in more which is awesome it has a little note for me what Woo. so nicely wrapped so pretty I don't even want to open it because it's so pretty. Okay, so I got this package from Dane. It's a book and I'm so excited. I just wanted to open it really quickly. Got the card, read that, and now I'm going to open this. It's so beautifully wrapped that I don't even want to open it. Good job, too. I'm going to wrap this. Check this out. Oh, it's so cool. I love the feeling of brand new books. This is called Start From Zero by Dane Maxwell. So thank you so much, Dane. I'm excited to read this. Look at This is where people start from zero. I'm gonna start reading this tonight. Ever since quarantine started, I was like, I have books, but I kind of put them all away. And I was like, I want something new to read. And out of the blue, I got an email and we were like, hey, Dane is a fan of your work. Thank you, thank you. And now I have something new to read. I'll leave a link down below in case you want to look it up or his podcast as well. It's so exciting because I literally didn't say that out loud to anybody or anything and it just happened by way of the universe. If you believe in that stuff. Thank you so much, Dane, and thank you so much, Edwin, for reaching out to me. Guess what? I got another package. I've had a little stressful of a day today, so this is gonna be exciting. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna be able to prop you because everywhere I put my camera, I just end up looking like a gnome morphed with Shrek, a Shrek gnome. And I'm not so happy about it. I wanted to put you right here, but I don't have anywhere tall enough to put you. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna be a little tilted. Don't mind the mess. We were doing some renovations to the house, so it's a little messy. Maybe a little bit more than a little messy. If you guys remember, if you followed my last vlog, if not, you gotta go check it out. If you haven't seen that one, then you won't know what I'm talking about. But the last one, I got a little something from Liquid IV, and I got another one here, and I'm so excited because there's the two flavors that I said I wanted to try. One was the lemon lime, and the other one was the new flavor inspired by the Beebs music the song. Yummy. It's guava hibiscus. I'm excited, I'm excited. I love opening packages. Are you ready? <gasps> I can see it peeking through. Oh my gosh, and look what's here. This is the one I'm telling you about that is inspired by Justin Bieber's music. Yummy, inspired by Justin Bieber. It's guava hibiscus. Pretty cool. I would definitely want to have a flavor after me. I was thinking about it too. I was like, I really do hope that he actually sees this. If he hasn't already, I don't know. I might be late to the party like always. <laughs> Like always. But I really do hope that he sees this because this is pretty damn awesome. I would freaking love to have something that was inspired by something I did. What? I don't really know yet. I really do hope that he sees that. That's awesome. I think it's awesome. But in conclusion, I'm excited to try this. This one is going to be the first one that I freaking try. And I think it's limited edition. So, oh look. And it even has a little card. Feel your yummy. New guava hibiscus hydration multiplier inspired by Justin Bieber. Now, if we were trying to say this in Spanish, it would be Jamaica y guayaba. Guayaba y Jamaica, whichever way you want to do it. You could probably guess which one's which. Kind of sound the same. Yummy vibes in a glass transport you to a world of juicy... Never fails! Yummy vibes in a glass transport to a world of juicy pink guava and hints of hibiscus. It's what daydreams are made of. Passport not required. Thank you, because mine is expired. For a limited time only. Exclusively, only on Liquid IV. Liquid IV's got the yummy yum, the yummy yum, the yummy yum. Oh, look! And they've got stickers. I'm so excited, I'll show you up close. And last but not least, each of these pouches have 16. They said, go big or go home. And I said, thank you, I feel blessed. No, seriously, thank you so much, Liquid IV. If you want 25% off plus free shipping on your order, use the code Stacey Solis. Click on the link down below. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not getting the commission. So literally this is just passing it on to you. I've tried the other ones and they're freaking amazing. These, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try this one first. So if you wanna see what I think, stay tuned. And also be following me on the Instagram. Liquid IV, thank you for being so generous, seriously. I'm so excited. This literally made my day. It made my day. Oh, I feel so happy. Okay, so there you go. Yummy and lemon lime. I'm gonna try them. This one first, then you'll see this one next. <sighs> Thank you. All right, you know how it is. I wanted to share this with you. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but let me show you the stickers.
I'm trying to be a little tiny bit creative, innovative, doing something different to show this flavor on my IG story. So this is what I've got. Took me a while. Next, lemon lime. As you could see, I decided to cut out the little stickers so I could use them as little thingies as you've seen. I love these, they're so freaking cute. I'm gonna put them in my sticker book. What is up? I hope that you're having a good Sunday today. I'm just sitting here staring out at the back window to the backyard. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. But I hope you're doing something cool. And as I'm sitting here, I'm like, you know what? I think it's time that I try lemon lime. I was just kidding. I just thought about it in my head. But I am going to try this one next. I'm not cool anymore. Was I ever cool? Comment down below. It's not YouTube. Send me a message. Let me know if I was ever cool. If I wasn't, never mind. I don't want to hear from it. I don't want to hear about it. Okay? I had filmed this kind of, well, I think it was cool. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know, but I had filmed this little video of me pouring my lemon lime into here and I tried to be cool and say lemon lime, doing the time. And then I realized that I put lemon lime and I couldn't change it. <clears throat> my mom made some salsa earlier and oh my goodness, the little chiles that she heated up on the little thingy, those tatemo, man, it's making everybody cough. And I'm like, I can't finish the sentence without coughing. I'm going to try this now. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Oh, my hair is so long, I can't function. Do you think this is gonna be sour or sweet? Wait, more sour? I'm gonna try. Whoa. I'm feeling tingles in my mouth. That sounds inappropriate, but it's appropriate when, it's, when you're talking about lemon and lime. Definitely recommend this one too. Lemon lime is so freaking good. My favorite one so far has been passion fruit. Acai berry is actually really freaking good. I don't remember if I let you guys know if I tried it or not. I don't remember, but it is really good. Lemon lime is right up there with this one too. I mean with those two. But yeah, I definitely recommend lemon lime. It's tangy, it's sweet, and it kind of reminds me of lemonade. And it seems like it has like, or at least I'm tasting some lemon zest and some lime zest in there. Pretty freaking good. To get 25% off plus free shipping, you can use my code. Stacy Salis. Thank you very much for listening. Is this even recording still? We just got back from the south. I got some kefir, raw kefir. There's this new flavor in town. It's called vanilla. Well, it's not called vanilla, but it's vanilla. <laughs> and I got regular raw milk. I got some organic uncured turkey hot dogs. I got some chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips, organic. I wanted a chocolate chip cookie, but they didn't have chocolate chips. I wanted to try this one. So anyways, I got this double chocolate with walnuts. Got some cheese, my raw cheese, a big brick of it. This is really good cheese. Then I just got regular mozzarella cheese for the pizzas I'd be making, and also two bags of the pork rinds. Jalapenos, because I, I want to make this pickled jalapeno, which I think I don't think I got all of the ingredients. And two garlics. And then I also had a voucher, a coupon, for a $2 large coffee. You could get original, caramel, or mocha, but I got caramel. <laughs> and we got, also got mini churros and curly fries. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you what I got this time around. That out, then curly, 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 curly fries. And Barbecue sauce and the churros are in there being super un not in focus. My niece yeah. got a breakfast that they're giving away free breakfast I'm pretty sure they might be doing that in your area as well for the kids <laughs> All right, so I seen this on Pinterest and I said I want to try it cuz I was like my goodness gracious this looks freaking bomb. I got my little ingredients laid out right here not the bread, but I've got Flaky I wasn't calling flaky leakies. Why? Pillsbury Grand flaky layers, some milk chocolate morsels, mini marshmallows, and some graham crackers. I had just opened these and the marshmallows so I could start doing these things. I'm gonna make s'mores waffles. I was gonna keep that as a surprise for you, but anyway. I gotta try these, by the way. See if they're good. Eh. I'm just kidding, they're good, they're great. They're really good, actually. All right, so let's do this. All right, I'm gonna put this in there. It's in there. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll see. I'm gonna assemble another one. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. All right, here's my second one. I've got the one with the Oreo in there. That's what the inside looks like. And honestly, I'm like, where's the marshmallow? Cause I, I didn't find it in there. I don't know about the second one. The first one had no marshmallow cause it all clearly got all over the waffle maker, but 
It literally just tastes like the flaky bakey. Like, why? First flaky lakey, then flaky bakey. It literally just tastes like the biscuits, the flaky layers biscuits, which are really good, by the way. If you've tried them, then you know what I'm talking about. But it literally tastes like that with a hint of chocolate, a little hint of sweet, and a little bit of the graham cracker, but you can't really taste it that much. Yeah, I thought it would be a lot more hyped up to be what it was hyped up to be but it's not. But it's not bad. You should try it. Maybe you'll do it better. Okay, so I added a little bit of Oreo to the other one, to the third one. And honestly, you can't really taste much of the Oreo. But like I said, the biscuit is good. It's a little hints of sweetness into it. It's not bad. It's not like the most delectable thing ever either. But it's a cool little new pastry thing to try. You should try it. Let me know what you think if you do. It's hot. It's definitely something new. It's something interesting. It's hot. I'm sweating. <laughs> Ooh. I know, I know, I'm horrible at filming these vlogs again. It's just been a tough, tough time to film for me, so uh, I'm here filming again. I have some time alone in the peace and quiet, so I'm actually filming a video. I just finished my second video. I got one more video to film. Yay, me! And I want to stop on here and say hello. I'm going to do a little bit of the narration like I did last time, and hopefully it makes sense. I'm going to try to recap all that has happened since the last time I filmed. <laughs> Which I don't know when the heck it was for my vlog, of course. I've just been going through a little bit of stress and, and I don't have the energy or the want or the desire or the motivation or the inspiration to pick up my camera during the week. It wasn't up until now that I was like, oh my God, yes, I'm gonna be alone for a couple of hours. I'm gonna be able to film and be able to get stuff done. And so here I am, I'm feeling good, happy and healthy. So that's a blessing because I have been feeling pretty crappy the other times, but uh, I don't know what the heck I was gonna say, but yes, this is a crew neck that I tie dyed. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Let me know down below, please and thank you. Yeah, what else have I been up to? Oh, I made some pickled jalapenos. So freaking good. They came out so freaking good. This is what I'm telling you. You gotta follow me on my Instagram just so you can see what I'm up to. Post on there most than, more than I post on YouTube. Well, I always have. But you can see me in real time there and send me a message, talk to me, all the fun stuff. You should definitely Follow me on Instagram, you can just scan this code so that you see what I'm up to. Also, I tried the yummy Justin Bieber. I'm like super late on it now. I don't even think they have it anymore, so there's no, I just feel so dumb because I'm like so late with my stuff. I tried it, it was really freaking delicious. I don't know if I said that in there, but it was good. It's up there, my top favorites, it's so freaking good. I'm so glad, I actually want to have one today. That guava and the hibiscus, like, oh, it's just, they're just so freaking refreshing. I don't know how they do it, but it's really freaking good and I want another one. I also tried the lemon lime. Lemon lime was so good too. It's like reminds me of that lemonade. You'll see my little clips in here. Anyway, but I wanted to say that other than that, uh, I'm just doing a little bit of cleaning, a couple of recipes that I've been trying and stuff like that. You know, I'm just trying to get my life together <laughs> so I can finally get to the place where I need to get to and make things better for myself and make things better for my future. And I don't know, I've got a lot going on, but I feel like there was more that I had to say. A lot of my plants died, by the way. It's been super freaking hot here in California, Southern California. It was like 100 the other day and literally it fried my plants. I had left my plants out in the sun and I was like, I'm gonna ch keep checking on them, make sure that the sun doesn't overheat them or like dry them out because they're little babies, they're seedlings. So when I went out there, a couple times they were fine. Then I forgot about them and then I went outside and they were like one shrunk. The other one like got burnt. The leaves were like all dried up and it was just sad. So now I literally only have four which one of them is dying let me show you see that one's not making it this one's still pretty good that one's good that one's good as well this one is looking beautiful but I'm so sad about this one this is my blood orange and both of my blood oranges have now perished this is my green line that I have not taken outside at all it seems to be doing well but I don't exactly know so I'm just not getting anywhere with my plants. I think I've used the wrong soil. I don't know. There's so much that could be going wrong. My freaking cucumber has already perished as well. I'm not the best. I'm not the best. But my, oh my gosh, my lettuce, insane. Growing pretty crazy. I'm gonna get filming this next video, but in case that I don't have a chance, I'm gonna film this ending and I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here, even though I am so, I'm horrible at uploading now at 
filming and doing all this stuff. I've just have not been in my zone, have not been able to get in my zone. That is definitely my fault. So I take full responsibility for that. I have a lot to work on, but I just want to say thank you so much for still being here if you are still here. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I know that most of the subscribers now are all into my reaction videos more than this, but if you are somebody that does watch my reaction videos and took a chance on watching this vlog, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you're interested in learning a little bit more about me. So I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you want to see more of me, please check me out on my social media down the screen and down below. If you like, please do spend some more time with me. If you want to see the last vlog that I did, check this video out right here. And if you want to see another video, please check out this video right here. And I will catch you in the next time. And remember if there's one thing, I mean the next video. <laughs> remember if there's one thing that I want to call to mind, there are actually three. No matter the highs and lows, always be sure, always be certain to do good, be grateful, and stay humble. Bye.